Hello and welcome to this video here at SmartNeds as the tutor Michael and in this video we'll be discussing acids, bases and salts. Okay, so if you're watching this video for the first time, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button as well. So we'll be doing this uh, series uh, on, we'll be making a series of videos, basically looking at acids, bases and salts. Okay. So now, uh, to go into details now, acids, bases, and salts. So these are three substances that are somehow linked to each other, okay? And we are going to see how these are linked to each other. But then to make it easier, we are going to discuss these uh, simply one by one, okay? So to start with, we'll look at acids. Okay, so now when we look at acids, um, we should know that an acid, we usually talk about acids almost every day, and we should notice something um, about these acids. Okay, so the definition first. Okay, so an acid, according to the definition, is that um, anything okay anything which produces anything which produces uh, hydrogen ions let me write them like this. this is the hydrogen ion hydrogen ions uh, when dissolved in water can stay uh, in aqua state as the only as the only positively charged ions okay so that is the definition for an acid eh? anything which produces hydrogen ions when dissolved or in aqua state as the only positively charged ions eh? so this hydrogen becomes the only positively charged uh, ion okay so there are many different types of acids okay we can give examples examples of these acids they include you have what we call hydrochloric acid okay you have um sulfuric acid just to mention a few okay just to mention a few eh? okay these are examples of acid so these two acids that i've listed here they will all produce this h plus or hydrogen ion when you dissolve them in water when they're in aqua state okay that is how the acids actually uh react okay that's how they behave okay so now uh, we're going to look at uh, properties of these acids or to call physical properties Proper properties of acids okay, properties of acids and uh, just to make mention these properties are physical properties eh? so we can just say physical okay physical properties of what of acids okay and uh, the physical properties of acids number one we're going to say acids um, have a ph have a ph which is uh, have a ph which is less than seven eh? so a ph is simply a scale which shows the acidity of alkaline alkalinity of a substance okay so from zero to seven to fourteen eh? okay so this is what we call uh, the ph okay this is what we call ph so from zero okay this uh, is acid 
then from seven uh, this is alkaline so what we are saying here is that acids have a ph less than seven meaning all acids their ph is simply four between uh, zero to seven eh? okay going this side uh, it's an alkaline okay what is the other uh, property of an acid okay um, they turn uh, blue litmus paper red okay they turn to litmus paper red and this is an identity test of acids okay so you can say they neutralize they neutralize they neutralize uh they neutralize bases to form a sort so this is what results after an acid neutralizes a base eh? that's why i said that these when you look at them these three they are somehow connected okay they are somehow connected okay um, another one you can say uh, concentrated acids are corrosive they are corrosive eh? okay that's uh, another property okay so these are the properties of acids okay the properties of acids so now uh, let's look at what we were saying here that an acid is anything which produces hydrogen ions eh? we look at what we call what we call ionization okay ionization of what of acids okay so ionization of acids what we'll be discussing we're going to say ionization of acids okay ionization of acids okay so what happens when acids ionize okay meaning they form ion or when they are dissolved in water so take for instance sulfuric acid Is written as H2SO4. So when this ionizes, it will do give up its H plus ion. This also the radical sulfate will be alone. Okay. Just to balance because you have two hydrogen atoms here. Power so off. That is how the ionization actually uh, takes place. Okay. If it's hydrochloric acid, it will ionize like this. The radical, which is chloride, there. Okay. You can have many acids, nitric acid, which is written as NHNO3. Will be H plus three plus huh? to the nitrate. Okay. Uh, what other acids can you show? Uh, let's show this one. Um, ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid is written as H CH three COO three. And then, uh, so there's an H here. So there's an H. Yeah, like this. Okay. So this one loses the H, which is here. Yeah, so H plus. And then here you remain with the, this. Okay, so the H equals here is the one which is uh, 
lost here. So we could, we could we could show many examples, but all I wanted us to see is how that these hydrogen ions that are produced here. Okay, so what defines an acid? Eh? If something produces hydrogen ion as the only positively charged ion, okay, that qualifies to be uh, an acid. Okay. So in our first video on acid we end here make sure you watch the coming videos on acids spaces and sorts we are going to be discussing now the chemical properties of acid in, in detail hope you learned something and please those that are new to the channel please follow and hit the subscribe button and also those that would want to join our tuitions online you can contact me on that number on my YouTube channel.